Hi folks, Thomas Stinson here with ThomasStinson.com and today is another episode of Big Data Big Questions. And so today's episode we're going to tackle a question around degrees and data science and specifically I want to talk about do you have to have a degree to be a data scientist? Like, you know, if you're coming through and you want to get a job and, you know, even if it's been 10, 15 years since, you know, you were in college, is it going to matter what degree you have? Specifically, this came from a user who was asking about industrial engineers. So they have an industrial engineer degree and they're wondering, hey, does that help or hurt my chances for becoming a data scientist? So we're going to tackle this question right after this. So welcome back. So today's question comes in from a YouTube user. So um, if you have a question, Big Data Big Questions, put it here. Use the hashtag Big Data Big Questions on Twitter. Find it on my website. You can ask any questions and I'll do my best to answer it here for you and give you my take around data science, technology, life in general maybe, uh, interview questions. If you have any comments, just throw them in here and I'll try my best to answer them. So today's question comes in from a YouTube user that says, Will my industrial engineering degree help if I'm interested in machine learning? And so I want to tackle this question a little bit more around degrees and try to say, you know, what degrees do you really have to have? And do you have to have a degree to be in machine learning, data science, or just anything in general? And then specifically at the end, I'm, I'm definitely going to bring out some points around the industrial engineering degree and how I think you can tailor the coursework that you probably did in there to a machine learning engineering kind of career. So first off, I mean, do you have to have a degree to in order to get a job as a computer programmer or a data scientist or a data engineer? Specifically, you don't. I think, you know, whenever we look at degrees, a lot of times what we see is, you know, in the short term, they specifically will help. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking to take a role and, you know, you're applying for a junior role, you know, you're, right out of college, if you've had some, you know, some kind of background, say you were going for a junior developer role, so in information systems, computer science, I think specifically those will help you, especially when we think about, okay, if you're applying for that role and you're doing it, you know, through an automated system, right? So you're applying online and think about how the, you know, algorithms are working to be able to filter those down. So hundreds of thousands of people apply for a position. It's going to get filtered down by first, you know, looking for, does this person have a degree? That's one of the, that's one of the areas where I think it, you know, it kind of helps you is if, if you're shuffling through. It doesn't mean that if you don't have a degree that you're not going to be able to apply for these positions. But I think, you know, whenever you're looking at some, you know, some generalized standards, that's what employers use. They, they use that for your degree to do it. More and more, they're not doing it as much. It was more of a big deal, I guess, in the last, you know, 20, 30 years. But in the last five years, you've seen more where the algorithms are not so much based on that. And generally, you know, if you if if you do a good job, if you're involved in open source, which is something that I advocate here, or you have some projects and a lot of experience, that'll that'll trump that'll trump not having that degree, or even trump a person with a degree that maybe doesn't have as much experience. So, in general, what I what I say for any career, I mean, this is not just for data science. This is not just for um, data engineering and, and and computer development. But I think you know. Whatever field you're trying to go into, if you don't have a degree or if your degree's in a diff in some kind of different field and you're trying to go into it, I think having experience, you know, being involved, you know, whether it's, you know, writing blog posts, making YouTube videos like I'm making here, being, in, being a part of the open source community of whatever, whatever area you're looking for, I think that's going to stand out and that's going to help you. It's going to help you twofold. It's going to help you by giving you experience in a field that you didn't have experience in. And it's also going to help you network. You're going to meet more people that are involved in data science or computer engineering, and that's going to help you find opportunities as they come up. It's more of a it's more of a long long term strategy. But if you're passionate about this, then it's going to you know give you the experience that you need and also help you network. So I think that you know whether you have a degree in this area or you don't have a degree, I think getting involved in some sort of community aspect to the area that you're interested in. So for data science, go find some meetups. There's a ton of different open source projects out there. Look at TensorFlow, look at PyTorch, uh, any, you know, Spark ML, get involved, start playing with some of, some of the things there, write a blog post about it, you know, or, you know, answer some questions on the community or just sign up for the open source distribution. That helps you start to network, go to some conferences. Those are the types of things that are really going to help you stand out. So, you know, yes, a degree is going to matter, but only for the short, short term and, over the long term, it's going to be more about that body of work 
And so if you can, if you don't have a degree in that area, don't fret, don't think that you have to go back and, and get a, get a degree in data science or, you know, find something in computer, computer engineering. Just get involved in the community. Get involved in the community, use your life experiences and start to begin to network and that'll help you stand out. But specifically the question that, uh, submitted was around industrial engineers. So, you know, uh, will, will my industrial engineering degree help if I'm interested in machine learning? I think it'll help. It won't, it, it's not going to help you stand out. So I was talking about short term and, you know, sometimes if they're just, you know, if, if you're just looking to be able to check the box from an employer's perspective of does this person have a degree that, that will help. But if you're trying to tailor your resume and, um, your application for how you can stand out versus somebody who maybe has a computer science degree or a background in statistics, I think there are some things that you can pull out of that industrial engineering degree. I think, you know, with it being heavy math, uh, my assumption is just from, from a general perspective is you've probably had all four years of calculus and differential equations and those types of heavy math that uh, engineering degrees uh, require. So I think pulling some of those out, I think, you know, I, I've said it time and time again, I think getting involved in the community. So, you know, whether it be socially, so, you know, find something on LinkedIn or Twitter, join a couple, join a couple of machine learning uh, groups there. Get, in, get involved a little bit, find out what's going on, uh, find out some areas that interest you. What po what portions of machine learning do you like? Uh, do you like, you know, more of the traditional, when we think of, you know, smaller data sets, do you, do you like that kind of machine learning? Are you looking for more big data? Do you want to get involved in like the Hadoop ecosystem or even the deep learning and the AI industry? Find some of those and then find a couple little projects to, to get involved there. And so that's another thing that you can start putting on your resume is, as you start, as you start building out some content or, you know, being participating in, in those groups, whether they be local meetups or anything like that, that's going to help you stand out too. So pull that heavy math that you had, um, any kind of statistics or anything like that, and then get involved as well too. And I think, you know, yes, just specifically having an industrial engineering degree, I think that can help you, but you, you're going to have to position it and make sure that you pull out the points that are important for the positions that you're trying to apply for. Well, that's all I have today for Big Data Big Questions. Make sure if you have a question that you submit them here below. And then also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you never miss an episode of Big Data Big Questions.